Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I'm going to paint uh, something like a forest, uh, like uh, a rainforest everyone. And I'm going to try to put a farmer sitting there, oh, I'm not sure. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe, you have to subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see there the five limited colors, the brushes that we need and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And I will do a little uh, sketching uh, for my guide so that I, I will know where I'm going to put those details or those elements on the, on my painting okay so i will be using this number two nylon flat brush here i have here the raw umber so my horizon will be here and just on the bottom part or below the center yeah something like that okay yeah, I'm going to put the forest here, a lot of trees, yeah, on the center, or something like that. Okay, so, yeah. And the clearing will be, you can see the clearing on the back side. So, I will, I will do like something like that. And then, I'm going to try to cover or start the underpainting. So, I will do first the paints there on the, or the clouds or the sky. So, blue and the white. Okay, so I want to put a thicker paints. There. And then I'm going to put a little bit of red to make some purple and then white. There. Okay. I want to put a lot of paints everyone so that it will look, it will look thick. Or thicker. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to put any clouds to, uh, because I will just cover it with the uh, with the with the trees. So I will not put any clouds there. bit whiter maybe some more some random clouds there okay okay just like that make the bottom part uh, lighter and now I'm gonna mix for darker color blue and the red a darker purple color so I will put a distant uh, this will be a distant forest Okay, there you go. And then on the bottom part, I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter, yellow, or a little bit orange. There, so this will be a clearing, everyone. A little bit orange. Oh, 
also put some raw umber on the bottom part to make some parts a little bit darker more yellow Okay, there you go. So since everything is still wet, yeah, I think uh, this part is not wet anymore. I think it's still wet, everyone. So I have to let it dry first for at least five minutes, and you can go back adding more details. Okay, everyone. So I think everything's dry now. So I think the paint's already dry, and I'm going to start adding some more details. I'm going to start adding uh, a little mountain here yeah and then i'm gonna put a lot of trees here so this will be a forest in the center of the center of the uh, field or something like that okay so yeah let's continue i'll be using a smaller brush a number a medium sized flat brush uh 12 i think uh, uh it's eight sorry everyone so i have here the yellow and then white I'm gonna put some white color on my white a little bit uh, red to make some orange yellow and the red there Okay, uh, I will be using the bigger brush. This one, everyone. I'll be using this a little bit orange color. And some yellow. And then I'm gonna try to use this uh, a little bit darker green so it's a raw umber. So my light source will be again from coming from the left side, I think. This part a little bit darker. There. Okay, so I'm gonna use again, I'm gonna use now a bristle flat brush. This one. And I'm gonna try to mix for greens, yellow and the blue. A little bit of umber. There. So 
So here I will put something like a tree. Okay, that's good. And then I'll try to put some darker, uh, darker greens. Okay, just uh, make a topping technique. Maybe some more brownish. Okay, make sure that you use the bristle flat brush everyone okay Okay, uh, more uh, greenish. I will also put something here. Some parts will be a little bit darker or thicker like that. There. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I want to put more, but uh, I need to add some yellow on my palette. A bit of blue umber, okay. So make the paints uh, thicker like that.
bear. Okay, so we can still see some white uh, spots there, everyone. Okay, I will try to put some uh, branches. So I'll be using this number two nano plus brush. I'll put a little branch there inside. So I, am, I will be using this this brown with a with a blue. Okay, so we have now uh, some trees and also here. Also put some branches. Ah. Okay, everyone. So you can see now uh, a lot of branches there in the center of the. How is the put here? Just use the pure umbrella, everyone. There. Can also put more smaller uh, trees, everyone, on the background, like this. 
make everything look busy that like it's uh there's a lot of things there on inside that uh, small forest okay yeah Yeah, I might need to put on the background here everyone because I want it to be filled with uh with the uh, with the uh, trees, something like that. So I will put some more uh greens. Maybe a little bit darker. So again, you can use the tapping technique. So you can put, put also some darker colors. Make sure that uh, you can see mix there. A lot of things there. Okay, so you can see it's a uh, field here with color everyone oh, with, uh, with the trees and we need also to put some a little bit lighter on the other side. A little bit uh, lighter greens. Okay. A little bit more uh, darker. Okay. 
or uh, I need to put some more blue everyone blue and the red there a little bit yellow or some blue umber So more I'm gonna put uh, more uh, details on this. A lot of uh, leaves, everyone. I want it to look more detailed, something like that. Before I'm gonna proceed to adding uh, some uh, details. So just use the tapping technique. Tapping technique. I will put darker on the center part. I'm not using any black everyone so my dark color will be purple or dark purple something like that. Just a small signs of black or dark. There, so we can see now that uh, there's a lot of colors there. I like the, I like how, how it looked there, how it looks good. Okay, okay, everyone. So yeah, I think that's. Uh, we can see now a lot of uh, trees there in the center of the painting. So, so this one's a little bit different than my works before. Yeah, it's a uh, way way different because uh, my subject is like this, like a uh, center of the canvas, something like that. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to start adding the details now. So before, uh, before I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna put uh, the big tree here first. So I'm gonna put one big tree here as the main subject of this painting. So. I have the rue umber here. Yeah, maybe here. I'll try to put. So that I have idea uh, which part or what part of will be this tree
here so yeah let it try i'll just let it try uh maybe i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger Okay, that's it. And then another row umber. I'm gonna put one uh, big tree here. Uh, I'm not sure where. So this uh, this one I'm gonna put some more details. Yeah, maybe that will be good. sure where i'm gonna put the other one yeah here i, I think i will put one big also here covering that part i want those trees uh, to be uh, look closer together okay that's good and then i will start now adding some branches and of course i'm going to add the the details of the of the leaves something like that okay so i have there the row umber i'm gonna put a little blue and yellow and we just row umber everyone So here. On the background also. Just make the background look more busy everyone. I just want to make this a part look busy that there's a lot of things there. Sorry about the dog. There. Sorry everyone about the dog. I'm not sure maybe it's very loud for you. Okay. There. Yeah, and then I will try now to put some I oh know wait. Not yet, I'm not yet done. Yeah, here, I will try to make this in front of us. Sorry everyone, what the dog? It's the neighbor's dog. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he's hungry. I think it's very noisy. Okay, now I'm going to use the bristle flat brush, this one. 
So first I'm gonna mix for a little bit orange color there and with a little bit of yellow or blue I mean okay so again uh, use the tapping technique using the bristle flat brush just put it on the top of the dark color everyone Okay, now we're gonna put a little bit of lighter yellowish color. Since our light source will be from the left side, so we can put all the highlights on the left. So you can see now some lights on the left side. Yeah, it looks good. It looks promising and looks uh, realistic. And now here, everyone, I'm gonna put, but this time it will be a little bit more greenish. A little bit white. little bit more uh, light light blue and also here everyone
so we have now a uh, nice looking forest okay and a lot of uh, leaves there i like that okay so now let's put some uh, details like uh, i'm gonna put those uh, details there like uh, like the lights on the on the on the branches or on the trunks Some also have a little bit of lighter color. This one will have a lighter color. Uh, branch or trunk. Okay, and then you can put a, a little bit of white for the highlights. So highlights will be the there you go. Yeah, it's like a, this one look like a, uh, looks like a, what's it called, a birch tree, something like that, okay? And then the other one, I'm gonna make a little bit of brownish. And white and then yellow, there. So I'm gonna put some lights here. Sorry about the dog, everyone, I don't know what happened. bit of bluish color especially here there and also here okay also some lights so those, those some of the trunk everyone or trees in the background sorry about the dog everyone i don't know what happened to him it will be very noisy really don't like that dog i mean the owner of the dog okay there you go and then outside to put because the light is coming from the left side i want to put more lights on the back part that uh, there's something light uh, or some some light leaves on the back of that uh, of this uh forest so white and the yellow sorry everyone about the dog i cannot control it So I need to I'm going to put some lighter something there. There, that there's something on the back of that uh, forest. Also lighter greens.
some lighter whites Okay, that's it everyone. So you can see some light there, especially in the back of the uh, part of the forest. And it looks good, I like it. It looks good everyone, okay? So, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put something details or some, some details of the tree here on the left, on the right, I mean. So I will be using this brush and then some, some light arrow uh, umber. Then a little bit of uh, purple, blue, and the red with the white. Blue and the red and then white. So I'm gonna start now adding a little bit of highlights here. details and there so yeah it looks good I like the light of this tree everyone and then you should I should put some uh, branches I should not forget about the branches so the branches will be dark color but I don't want to put any uh, so much of leaves there
Okay, that's good. And then some a little bit of highlights. So here, let's make a, let's add some details here. There, okay. That looks good, everyone. I don't want to put any uh, leaves there. I just want to make it like that, a big tree like that. Okay. Uh, maybe some few leaves like. Uh, like a yellowish or like an autumn leaves. Some white, everyone, to make it uh, brighter. Okay, just a few leaves uh, to be enough for me. Just to make uh, that part everyone uh, busy and uh, detailed, okay? Yeah, I'm going to put some golden colors at the, the field, at the bottom part everyone. But first, I'm gonna try to put some casted shadows also. So here. Uh, I'll try to put some brownish blue umber and uh, right I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put some dark color the yellow purple and the yellow one so cut my lights coming from the left side So all the casted shadow will be on the left. There.
there okay yeah and then i will try to i will try to add some highlights so i'm excited with the highlights everyone so here i will, I will try to put some highlights maybe some more yellowish here Maybe something like an orange there there okay more yellow orange Then also in the other part, the part. There. Also here. Just yellow everyone, just thick yellow will create a beautiful lights. And also, I want to put some a little bit of white. There, I want this part to be very, very bright color. Okay, it looks good. It looks so soft now. Yeah, it looks so soft and yeah, everything looks good. Yeah, so far it looks good everyone. I like it. I like the the result here. And also I like the the color of the of the of the ground everyone. It looks uh very soft there. Okay. So you can use the topping technique. There, a little bit of uh, orange also.
I will put a little bit, a little bit of uh, reddish color on the ground. So everything looks so soft of that part. Yeah. It looks very, very soft, everyone, and it's just so simple uh, when you look at that. Okay. So I think I'm going to, yeah, I will put now the, I think the farmer lying on the tree. And then I'll retouch on the top part, which is the leaves. The leaves will be, will make this painting a lot uh better or much more realistic okay and i will uh, maybe i will just uh, I, will, I will i will retouch first on the bottom part i'll put some greens a bit of lights okay there you go yeah just so simple and details okay so I'm going to I'm going to put the farmer there. It's just a little subject, everyone, that will com complete the entire painting. So I think it will just be very, very simple if uh, I'll just leave it like that. So first, row umber and white. I will do a little bit of sketching. So here he will be lying here. Okay, so I will paint his, uh, his face. First, I'm going to mix for a little bit of flesh color. And then I'm going to use some orange. Okay. 
much more like a yellow orange everyone maybe I will use pure white there and then I'm gonna mix four row umber red and the yellow And then blue and the white. He's sitting, uh, yeah, sitting there, lying or something. Okay, and then I wipe here the, the red and the blue for a darker color, darker purple. Not so obvious everyone, but I think it looks, yeah, it's fine. I'll try to put the hand. Okay, I think that looks fine. Yeah. Right, all right. I think I'm going to clarify something because I think uh, this one looks a little bit short. Okay, that's it. Yeah, it's just so simple and it looks good. Okay, so I'll just retouch Ron. I will just put some more details, especially on the leaves, something like that. I want it to be looking like a very detailed painting. Yellow with a little bit of blue and then white. So here, I'll try to put more. So 
So I'm using the small flat brush. So I will do it one by one so that I can create a detailed leaves. Okay, uh, on the other side, maybe a little bit of yellowish color. Uh, always remember that I am using only one brush. One small brush everyone to create those the tinier details. more yellowish there and then I'll try to mix for a little bit of uh, brownish Just want to make that part everyone uh, detailed. Okay, yeah, or a little bit of white.
you go. So we can see now a brighter colors there. Yeah, at least uh, it began to look more realistic. Okay. And then also, I have to put something like uh, leaves there. Something like uh, there, so. Uh, as long as you make everything look uh, busy everyone or there's a lot of things that you can see a lot of things there it will look good I will make uh, this that, that part piece everyone and detailed. Also put some grasses. So on the on the tree everyone I want to make it detailed here.
I want to make it a little bit lighter. So that's very detailed. Uh, I wanted to put a little bit orange. So I am now in the part of retouching everyone. Actually, I'm done. But I have to retouch everything to make it look good. So here there okay so so far everyone it looks a lot of uh, there's a lot of details on this painting so as long as uh, you have time you can put a lot of details because those details everyone it will make the painting much more beautiful it will create uh, uh, that there's a lot of things there like uh, it's a high dynamic or yeah it's uh, like an HDR something like that if you are familiar with the HDR uh, thing that like uh, on, a, on, a, on a video it will look, actually look like this that, that uh, there's a lot of details okay I will put more I will use this one I will put more uh, grasses on the field here. I still have a lot of time. So I'm gonna make use of it. Yellow and blue. Yeah, I can put more greenish. And then I have white. So I'll put a lot of tinier details there. Yeah. And I will put also some browns, okay? Just don't forget some browns. Like a pathway here.
yellow and the the red yeah and then white I'll put my yellow everyone I think I'm gonna need to put some more yellow As you can see, a little bit of brownish tone. There. So it's just very simple everyone. Yeah, you can see a little bit, a little pathway there that it will complete uh, the entire painting. So I like it. Uh, the painting is just very, very simple, greenish, something like that, but it looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna add more because I still have a lot of yellow and blue and the brown. So here I will try to put Darker colors or maybe darker greens. I'll try to put some red. Maybe a little bit of pink. And yellow. Put some yellow here. Some something like a uh, uh, grasses, and then a little bit of white. Let's try to see in the far. Okay, I think that's good, everyone. Uh, I think I'm done. Um, 
yeah the entire result is good it's just very very simple landscape with this type of uh, view with a man there actually it's hard to recognize i think i'm gonna i am going to retouch the face because i think it looks so pale it looks like dead <laughs> yeah maybe there's a dead man there I'm gonna make it orange. Okay, a little bit of amber. there and then some more white okay i think that's it everyone i will not uh so put detail there a lot more yellow okay there you go so i am done and yeah that's all everyone for the tutorial i hope you are happy with the entire result uh, also i am happy i am very very contented i like it and it looks cute it looks good. It's just very very simple and good and i know that everyone can do it also okay so i want to say thank you for watching this video today i hope you you are pleased with the result and Okay everyone, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of palette because I want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.